The church at Ephesus grew strong and big. In Ephesus, there was a magnificent temple of Diana, the goddess of hunting. In the temple, there was a statue, great statue of the goddess. The people of the city thought this statue had been dropped down to them from heaven. This temple was famous, and many people came from far away to worship there. Before going home, many of them bought a little silver statue or image of Diana to take back with them. The, many, the men who went made these statues became very rich, for all the people thought they had, had, had to have a statue of their goddess in their homes. Demetrius, the leader of the silversmiths, saw <coughs> that if Paul went on preaching that idols were not gods at all, pretty soon nobody would want to buy their images. <coughs> so he called a meeting of all the silversmiths and said to them, You know that we get our money by making these images. You see and hear that not only here at Ephesus, but through all of Asia Minor, this Paul has been <coughs> telling people that idols made by men's hands are not really gods at all. If this continues, nobody will want to buy our images of Diana. Before long, the temple of our goddess, will, where, Asia, where all Asia and the world worship now, will be laughed at. The very idea of this alarmed the silver workers, and they cried out in anger, Great is Diana of the Ephesus. They made such a noise that soon the whole city was filled with confusion. The mob caught some of Paul's companions and rushed with them to the open air. And, and Coliseum or and, amphitheater? And amphitheater. <coughs> Paul wanted to go to the amphitheater too, but his friends held him back, for they were afraid he might be injured. The theater was a great crowd. In the theater, there was a great crowd, some shouting one thing and some another. Most of them did not know what the excitement was all about. A man called Alexander came up to the platform and tried to talk to the people. He motioned with his hand for them to listen, but when the crowd saw he was a Jew, they raised their voices and shouted, Greatest Diana of the Epicenes, Greatest Diana of the Epicenes, 